Hello there you and welcome to a map modding tutorial for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 for absolute beginners. This is designed for people who've never used Unity before or just want to get into modding in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. The first thing that we're going to need to do is download and install Unity as well as the mod creation tools. If you've already done this, skip right ahead to the next portion. But for those of you who haven't, first thing that you're going to do, open up Steam, go to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, click on Discussions, and at the top here, you should see Mod Creation Tutorials. Click on that. And then we have two tutorials here for characters and maps. Click on the Mapping Tutorial down here, and we'll be greeted with this little area here. Now, what we want from here is the Download Ultimate Epic Battle 2 Mod Files, so go ahead and click that, and that should take us to a Google Drive here, where we can simply click download. Now, when you click this, it might pop up with another window saying that uh, Google cannot scan the files because it's too big. Just click download, it's absolutely fine. Now, the next thing, once they're downloaded, is we need to download Unity itself. So click on their link, and what that will actually do is it'll take you to the Unity site, but it won't take you to the right one. So on here, you'll see that it's got Unity 6 hi uh, highlighted. We need to go to 2018 and then scroll down the list here until we get to the this one 2018 4.16 f1 released on the 27th of january now go ahead click read and at the top up here you can see manual installs click on manual installs and download the appropriate one for your operating system mine was windows now you can see here that we've downloaded all of the modding tools from the developers and i've also gone ahead and installed unity so double click on unity to start up the program now when you start up the program for the first time you'll actually be greeted with a login screen i highly recommend that you go ahead and create Create your own login because you're gonna need it frankly now once you've created your login you will present it with this window here go ahead and click on new to start a new unity project we're gonna call this one YouTube because that's what exactly what we're doing it for so once you've named it go ahead and click create don't worry about the name too much you, that's not the name of your map just name it something that you'll be able to easily recognize so once unity is loaded up and all installed you'll be greeted with this window here a couple of places that you'll have to familiarize yourself with is the scene over here which you can use or uh, move around it using the right mouse button to look around left right up and down you have to hold it down to do that and to move around the space you need to use the arrow keys on your keyboard now if you hold shift it will allow you to move even faster which is extremely useful on some of the terrain sizes that we're going to be using now what we're going to do here is we're going to just minimize unity a second and we're going to grab this the map modding folder that we had downloaded from the developers and we're just going to drop this into the assets folder over here that should make a brand new folder called map modding next we're going to go over to our sample scene on the right we're going to right click here and we're going to go down to 3d object and create a terrain now what that should do is put a lovely little tile right below you here now to select the terrain you can either just click on it normally which will select it you can tell when an object selected because it'll have this orange border around it or you can just click on the terrain in the sample scene at the side here now the first thing that we're going to need to do with our terrain is go over to the little terrain settings tab it's that little cog over on the right here now once we're on this tab scroll down to the bottom here where it says mesh resolution on terrain now the developers recommend that you set this to two uh, two thousand by two thousand now what i've actually found is that this map will probably hold about 2 million units. So depending on how many units you want on screen depends on your map size. I personally found that about 4,000 should give you enough for about 10 million units. So that's what I'm going to go with here. So we're going with a 4,000 by 4,000 width and height map. So with our terrain now created, what we'd actually need to do is start painting some textures onto it. Now to do this, you're going to go ahead and need to select your terrain. Go over to the Paint Terrain tool over here, and there should be on this little drop down one called Paint Texture. Now, when you come over here, you'll notice that you've actually got zero terrain layers, and if you've never used Unity before, you're going to have some downloading to do, unfortunately. So what you want to do is go on to Edit and Create. Now, you'll notice that there's a couple of default ones in here, but none of them are grass or soil or anything like that useful. 
Now, to be able to do that, what we actually need to do is go up to the Windows tab up here and click on the Asset Store button. What that'll do is it'll open up a new tab at the top over here, which will take you to the Unity Asset Store. Now, if like me, yours ends up a little bit broken, what I have to do is click on the little shopping basket over here, which will take me to the assets that I've purchased. Of course, I've not purchased any, but this is just to get to where we need to be. Now you can see here, this will take you to the actual asset store. Now you will need to be logged in. As you can see at the top, I'm actually currently logged in. And what we're gonna look for is a grass texture here. Now, a couple of things. Once you've searched for grass texture, most textures tend to be 2D. So we'll click the 2D tab here. And then what I want is free assets. Feel free to purchase assets if you wish, but I'm not gonna be doing that for the tutorial. And the next thing we need is the Unity version of 2018. Now you can see that I've already downloaded lots and lots of grass, uh, grass textures, but what we'll use for the purposes of this one is the low poly grass that's hand painted here. So all you have to do is click on it and then click what you will have is a download button here. Now what that'll do is it'll download it to your account. Once it's downloaded, you'll be able to click on My Assets here, and you'll have a list of all the assets that you've ever downloaded. As you can see, I've downloaded quite a few little assets here to help with the creation of some of the maps that I've been making. Now, once these are downloaded, you'll need to import them for every single map. So if I click Import here, this is the grass texture that we're gonna import. Just click Import, and that will add all the files of that grass texture in it to our assets folder down here. Now, if I was to go and create a brand new map now and make a new terrain, what we'd have to do is we'd have to come back into the Asset Store and just click Import. We won't have to download it again, but we will have to import the files. Something to bear in mind when making new projects. But now that we've actually got some hand painted textures here, we can click on the scenes tab back at the top and that'll take us back to our terrain. If you need the asset store again, you can just click on the tabs at the top and then switch between them. But let's get painting here. So click on your terrain, go over to the paint terrain and paint texture. Now I'm gonna select the circular brush to start with this. We're gonna click on the edit terrain layers and create a brand new layer. Now you can see that we've got the hand painted texture really easily visible there. What you might want to do is when you import a new texture, just go into the actual files itself. So if we go down here, we can see that this is where the texture is located and we can see that it's hand painted. That's the name. The only reason I say that is because when you start getting hundreds and hundreds of textures, it's useful to know what their names are. So you can see though that now that we've selected the terrain, it's painted it all over the map here. Now, what we're gonna need is a secondary texture just for the purposes of testing at least. So we'll go over here, create a new layer, and I'm just gonna use this default white one instead of going searching through the asset store for a soil one. Now, one thing in that's really important to note here is the resolution of the mesh for the terrain. So, what do I mean by that? Okay, so if we go in here and we zoom in, we can see that it's all actually kind of quite small down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the terrain layer at the side here, and you might notice that there's this tiny little black arrow that's really hard to see. Click on that and that will open up the settings of the texture. At the bottom down here, we have something called tiling settings. Now, if you increase the size, you'll notice here that it increases the size of the tile. That just makes the terrain a little bit more visible from the kinds of sizes that we're gonna be, because normally you'd be really in on the ground if you're first person, and that'd look horrible because the textures are big. But because we're playing in RTS, and we're a little bit zoomed out and away from the floor, I like to have slightly bigger uh, tiling textures just so they look a little bit nicer now with that we have got our first texture down we're going to go ahead and paint down our second texture here so you can see that we've got brush sizes on the side here as well as opacity basically opacity is how strong the brush is the less opacity it has the less of an effect it has on the terrain if we were then to go up to full opacity you'll see that it just instantly colors in everything. So the other options that we have over here, it's to raise and lower terrain. Again, we've got the brush size over here, as well as the strength of the brush in terms of opacity. The more opacity you have, the stronger it is gonna be making or lowering the terrain here. Now, I do highly recommend that you go onto the asset store and download extra brushes because you can actually get like mountain brushes and terrain brushes and things like that 
which just make it so much easier for creating mountain ranges. Now, one of the other options that we have on this drop down is a set height feature here. Now, if you click on that, you'll actually notice that we've got a couple of options for different things. Now, let me just go back on the circle. Now, if we were to say, let's just set this to 50 over here, what will happen is it will raise the ground until it's at the level of 50. As you can see there, that's how we create a lovely flat plateau. Now, what you can do is hold down the control button and click on the, an, an area, and that will set the height over here. So you notice that just set the height back to zero. If we go over to the top, hold control and left click, that'll set it back to the height resolution of this, and we can continue painting. It's a really good way of just being able to flip between the two if you've made a mistake or something like that. Of course, you can flatten the entire map by clicking the flatten all and then click flatten and that will flatten the entire terrain to the height you have uh, selected here. Bearing in mind that will get rid of things like mounting. So because the terrain's left default level is zero, if I was to set this to 90 and click flatten, you can see that all the terrain has disappeared, but the textures haven't. Now, to undo that, you can just simply press Control Z and that will undo the last action that you made. Extremely useful for stopping any mistakes. Now, the next thing that we can do over here is go over to the Smooth Height tab. And over here, that does exactly what it says on the tin. So we're going to have a large brush. We're going to have hardly any strength to that brush. And we're just going to use that to flatten out some of these spiky bits of terrain that we've got over here. Now, if you have it at a higher level, it is just going to start flattening out the uh, the actual hill. So be wary when it comes to flattening terrain. It can go a little bit too far sometimes. It is, uh, it's something that you're just going to basically have to fiddle about with and get used to. Now, there is another option on here, and you should not mess with it. It's called Create Neighboring Terrains. What that will do is it will add in extra terrains to either side. Now, unfortunately, the export system for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator cannot handle neighboring terrains. And as you can see on the side here, what it's done is uh, created two brand new terrains on the side here. But yeah, like I said, we cannot mess around with them. Unfortunately, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator does not have the ability to do that. If you have accidentally done it, it's no problem. Just go on onto the side here, click on them and press the delete key and they're gone. Okay, so we've got our terrain here. We've got a couple of paintings. We're all ready to export. So with us now being ready to export, what we need to do is right click on the side over here and click create empty. What that will do is create a brand new game object. Click on your game object and go over to the right hand side where it says transform and set all of these to zero, 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 zero across the board. That'll default it to the corner somewhere. Let's go ahead and click on it. There we go. It's defaulted over into the corner here. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and rename this object. Now, bear in mind, whatever you name this object will be the name of your map. So for this, we're just going to call it YouTube. Now, that means when we're in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator on the drop down list for maps, it will appear as the name YouTube. So what you want to do now is go ahead, grab your terrain and drop it into that YouTube folder here. Now, once you've got that in there, open up the map modding that we added earlier from the developers, and you should have this file here called map mod setup. What you need to do is click that and drag that up to where it says YouTube here. You should get this little arrow and add it on. Now, you might notice that you get this box that appears once you've added the script. This is actually the map boundary. So you can see that the map boundary here is not really encompassing our terrain. Uh, that's because the default setting here, so if you go back ahead and click on what we called YouTube, the default setting for it here, the map squared size is 2000. Now, if you remember at the start, we set ours to 4000. So we need to go ahead and set that to 4000, and that now encompasses our entire map. Now, the next thing that you need to do is go down to your assets folder over here, right click, go up to create and create a new folder. You can name this whatever you want, but I recommend you name it export. Now, the reason that we need this folder is because when we come to extracting our map, we need a subfolder to export to. So in this here, we're gonna type in whatever we just called our folder. We called ours export, so I'm gonna type in export 
into there. Now, the next one on the list here is the terrain main. This is why we can't use neighboring terrain. So what you need to do is grab terrain over here, click and drag it with the left mouse button and just drop it right into there. If we were using neighboring terrains, it'd only be able to export one of them. Now with our script now in here and all of our terrain now inside of the YouTube, what we need to do is click on YouTube over here and drag it down into the asset area. What this will do is that will create YouTube as a prefab. So what you'll notice now is that the box on the side has turned blue. This means that now this is a prefab. And with this, we can go once ahead, click back on YouTube, go over to the right hand side, and there should be this little cog drop down arrow over here. Now, once you've got that, go ahead and click export map. What this will do is start compiling and building the map for us. Now that the that has done, it's finished compiling. What we can do is we can go down to our export folder over here and we'll notice that there's absolutely nothing in it. It can take a little while for the files to show up in the export folder over here. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check it manually. So I'm just going to go ahead and minimize unity here. I'm going to bring up my file explorer. Now I've actually already got an area where I save all these uh, so basically wherever you have uh, your saves is where your files are going to be so when you created the project wherever you saved that project that's where you need to go to now now we can see that we've got YouTube here which is the one that we've been working on we go into there and we go over to the assets folder which is where we were exporting to you can see that we've got our folder called export Go in there and you can see bit by bit files are starting to appear you can see we've got a light map that's what will appear in game so yeah that's what the map's going to look like in game and bit by bit some files should appear here we need a couple more files and then we'll be ready so while it has completed in the background over here it still hasn't exported every single file that we need you can see though that the export file folder inside of unity is now starting to populate okay so here it is ladies and gents we should have about five files that are all here once the exporting process has completed what you need to do then is go ahead and just copy these and we need to go over to the map mods inside of ultimate epic battle simulator so this should be located within your steam apps common ultimate epic battle simulator 2 ultimate epic battle simulator 2 data streaming assets and then you'll go into map mod test uh, basically what you're just going to do is paste your files into here now with that done the only thing remaining to do is go and test that our map works so let's go ahead and start up ultimate epic battle simulator and see if our youtube test is there so if we go to our drop down over here we should see there we go we've got a map here now called youtube Let's go ahead and make sure that it works. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I would call a huge success. It looks like our map is working perfectly fine. And in here, you can sort of start to get an idea of the sense of scale that we're dealing with. The little mountains that we made with inside of our editor actually look truly gigantic inside. And you can see that the AI sort of automatically works out where it is able to and not able to path around here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that covers everything from painting your terrain to setting its height to exporting it join us in the next video where we go over prefabs construction and actually adding models to your map i hope you found this useful and until next time peace